Welcome back. 2020 marks 25 years of the Seattle Queer Film Festival. But this year looks a lot different thanks to COVID. It's all gone virtual. We talked to Kathleen Mullen and Cooper Seeley for more. We are um, an amazing festival, as you said, 25 years. Uh, we showcase LGBTQIA plus films for a run of 11 days, starting with an opening night. Generally, we've been in person, uh, but this year we are obviously going online and we show films, we do workshops, panels, Q and A's. We have DJ Zoom parties this year. Many kinds of things. We're part of an organization called $3 Bell Cinema. Queer voices throughout the year at various events that we put on and present. We support the voices of the queer community and as well as supporting filmmakers and bringing in diverse audiences including our allies. So that's a little bit about us. Well, that's amazing. And the work you do is so important. If I may share a personal moment, when I was a teenager growing up in LA, I went with a girlfriend of mine to uh, the Los Angeles Queer Film Festival. I don't remember the specific name, but I do remember that when we walked out of a film is when she told me for the first time that she was gay. And she felt comfortable saying that because she was seeing these films and, and Cooper I just want to ask you you know I've seen it in action but why is a film festival like this so important I mean well you've touched on it um it, it really does center um voices of people who are part of disenfranchised communities um in a, in a kind of cross-section intersection right so so this year we are um able to do a qt bipoc program um we've always had films from people of color but now um in this particular year it's so important to center a voices of trans individuals to center voices of people of color um so that like your friend, there's a kind of recognition of self. There's a, a recognition within a social space that that we're here, that we exist. And without that kind of social coding, um, that kind of recognition of self in the in the public, it's you're not, you're not alone. Incredibly hard. It becomes incredibly hard. Yeah. No. And you know, and keep in mind too that this year we're going to be able to reach audiences in rural areas. Can you imagine? I'm so excited about that. That is mm -hmm. so key because so many people who may not be able to, to leave their house, and hopefully maybe this will continue through the years. What kind of films will people see? What can people expect? All kinds of stories. Ew. Dramas, comedies, documentaries. So I don't know of many Black LGBTQ conductors. As short films, long films. Uh, so a few, a couple of them, um, something like Gossamer Folds, which is our centerpiece drama. Uh, maybe Cooper, you want to say a few words about the actual film? It's, it's a really incredible film, first of all. Um, I saw it and I think the entire committee um, fell in love with this film. It's really great. It is a story of a young trans woman and her father and her family and her neighbors and acceptance and love and what it really means to find belonging and family that is traditional and non-traditional. And beyond that, what it sort of means to go your own way to really be able to locate yourself in the world and locate your own voice and move on that, on the power of your, uh, and strength of your own voice. It's, it's an incredible film. Very simple, very sort of limited space and time and, um, and beautiful and intimate. That is beautiful. What a wonderful message. What a wonderful message. Yes, so all the folks in Oregon, Washington and uh, Idaho, <laughs> Come on, come on <laughs> online. <laughs> and not only that, um, some of the films are non geo blocked. So we'll be able to have a Canadian reach and um, an international reach for some of the screenings. I'm incredibly excited. Thank you so much for, for spending the time to talk to us today, even if you had to get in your car to come talk to us. I had to get in my car. <laughs> <laughs> So the 25th annual Seattle Queer Film Festival is happening virtually now through October 25th. We've got ticket info on New Day's website, so just head over there.